Welcome to The Life of Hair, my name is James Atkinson and in this week's episode we're going to look at the creative use of foils. In some of my other videos, like the one I posted last week, it was about using foil creatively and giving you lots and lots of options for different weaves or stitches and different placements of foils in different locations. So today we've taken that one step further with a very simple pre-section and a great result for something that is very, very current for right now. So I'm gonna crack on with the video and remember guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you get to the end, share it with your friends, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the other side of this video. So the concept to this particular technique is quite straightforward really. It's the use of over direction within color. Some of you may cut hair as well as colour hair and you'll fully understand the idea of over direction. You pull the hair out of its natural fall and then for it goes from short to long. Well, we're going to use exactly the same premise but with this particular technique, we're going to over direct all the pieces of hair that we take, every section, back to the front hairline and we're going to paint the hair right on the front hairline. So each subsequent section, the colour will end up further down the head. This creates great softness and is absolutely perfect for that face framing money piece hair colour that we're seeing such a lot of at the moment. It's so, so, so popular. Here's the pre-section section off to the back of the ear. Very simple horse, horseshoe section in the top and the very very first section that you're seeing right now is right on the hairline and it's a slice. I, I'm just painting it right up to the root to give that really strong face framing effect. The next section is two millimeters behind the first one and I'm going to do a weave here. I'm going to do varied weaves and slices throughout this whole technique just to give me a different texture. So once we've done those first two, I'm going to up the gap to four millimeters. So each subsequent foil will get slightly further apart from one another. And as you can just see there, I've got where I'm painting slightly off the root because I'm mirroring the exact edge of the hairline. This will become more apparent as the technique comes further down the line. So as you can see, I'm a little bit further away. And all you simply do is you use the hairline as a guide. Very, very straightforward. But this means that as the hair goes back into natural fall, you have this diagonal line that is created which creates a great amount of softness and it really does nail that face framing money piece hair color. Now we're up to about six mils in gap now and I'm just using a weave. The more you vary your technique guys, the more you will create different textures in your highlights and they'll look more natural. This is something I spoke about in my last video, the creative use of foiling. So now you can see it's come quite a way down the head and I'm keeping that brush parallel to the hairline and diagonal to my section. Final piece now, I'm going to over direct it all the way forward and paint my line parallel to the front hairline. So onto the top now, and this technique very much repeats itself. We're going to use a technique where we paint right up to the front hairline on the first section. Secure that foil nice and tight. We're going to take a little weave from this one. And we're going to paint just off the root with just so it mirrors the hairline. So 
So now we're up to four mil spacings. Again, painting off the root so that we're utilizing the over direction. Every section will come to that front hairline. This is a slightly tricky concept in the beginning. I totally appreciate that. You'll see the end result in just a minute. It's right at the end of this video and you'll see how well it works for this particular technique. It's an absolute cracker of a technique for this very moment in time where we're seeing lots of face framing techniques. So many celebrities, so many models have these particular techniques at the moment. So each subsequent foil gets slightly further away from the root. The foils are tighter together around the hairline and more spaced out as we move down the head. So we start with two mil spacings, then we move up to four mil spacings, six mil, eight mil, and by the time we get all the way back into the crown here, we're probably at 10 millimeter spacings, which is roughly the thickness of your finger give or take, depending on how slim your fingers are, but roughly the thickness of your finger. Now there's one thing to note here, made a bit of a boo-boo there. Can you see that little blob of bleach? Now, could wipe that off clearly, but don't fold it over by a third like I have been just fold it in half like that and then fold it by a third. That means that little blob of bleach is trapped inside that little fold and we can just move on. So that is a really important part of this guys is the folding of the foil. Fold it by a third, by a third again, so you ensure that the piece of hair that you do not want any color on does not end up with a print from your bleach ends. So let's watch it again, slightly faster this time. First section's a slice, second section's a weave. Now we're moving on to two mil spacings and we're painting to the front hairline. We do two at two mil spacings and then we move on to four mil spacings alternating between slices and weaves. Once we've gone to four, we go to six. Once we've done six mil spacings, we go on to eight mils, and then potentially all the way up to 10 mil spacings in the crown area. Now, this seems like a long way in between each foil, but it really does make a difference. Don't overfoil this technique, guys. I know the danger is to put hundreds and hundreds of foils in, but you don't always need hundreds and hundreds of foils, especially if the emphasis is a lighter, brighter face frame. Got to think that is the focal point of this technique. So therefore you don't want to overbear it with loads and loads of color all through the hair. And there we have it all put in tight around the front very close together spaced out as we move towards the back and every section is over directed to the front hairline today all over social media instagram you name it you're seeing it on every model, every celebrity going just about. And this is a great way of nailing that technique. A great contemporary result, a really, really nice space framing blonde effect with some softer highlighted pieces towards the mid lengths and ends on the other areas of the head. And that use of over direction to create hair coming out its natural fall, to create that graduated feel down to the back is a great way of utilizing not just your technique 
but things that you've learned from cutting hair, if you did learn to cut hair, and if you didn't, then it's really probably quite outside of your box and it gives you something new to think about when putting foils or balayaging. I utilize over direction a lot in my techniques. In my subsequent videos, we're gonna talk about balayaging with over direction. So I look forward to seeing you in those videos and I'll see you again next Sunday for the life of hair.